Welcome to Thursday. It's the seventh day of December 2023. This day weather podcast is being brought to you by Hot Springs County Travel and Tourism, reminding you that even as temperatures drop and snow is on the horizon at Thermopolis, you can always find yourself in hot water. Well, results may vary is the best way to describe what's going to happen over really the next five days across the western United States as we have a disorganized trough of low pressure eroding away the nice area of high pressure that's been overhead for the past few days. Really, it's resulted in some really nice early December weather, as you can see here from nice shot from a, a ride on the mule here in Leadville, Colorado area. Beautiful shot there. But as we go into the end of the week and the weekend and even into early next week, we have a trend towards colder temperatures, a two-part disorganized storm system coming our way. This is going to result in off and on snows in the high country all the way into early next week. So the mountains of the west will be picking up some more snow. Good for the ski areas, good for the snowpack. Windy conditions are going to be developing at times as these systems move on through. So we've got some mountain snow, we've got some strong winds on the plains. Occasionally, some of this snow shower activity will reach the lower elevations, especially just adjacent to the mountain ranges. So we're going to have a little bit of everything kind of get thrown at us here in the coming days. A very busy satellite image this morning. We can see this area of low pressure. We've got a low here. We've got a low just off the coast of British Columbia, stronger low up here northwest of Alaska. We've got a lot of energy and moisture with the jet stream right here streaking across the Pacific. So it's a busy weather map. We've got one, two, three, four low pressure systems all upstream. None of these systems will come together to form one big organized system. So there's gonna be several. So that's going to kind of muck up the weather forecast, bringing a wide variety of different results. So this is where we are today. The first low taking the northerly track. This is by 5 p.m. on Friday, with the secondary low taking more of a southerly track to near Grand Junction as we get into Friday and into the weekend. And then this whole area of low pressure will then slide into the Great Lakes, becoming a weather maker for parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes in the Northeast this weekend. The door to Canada opens. So this recent trend of what has been much more mild weather will certainly turn colder, not bitterly cold, but certainly colder. So this disorganized area of low pressure is causing a wide variety of different advisories for a variety of different things. So where you see these bluish purple areas, those are winter weather advisories in effect that stretch from California through the Cascades to even northern Nevada, across parts of Idaho, Montana. And then we have winter storm warnings for the northwest mountains of Wyoming. We have winter weather advisories for the mountain areas of Colorado. Then you see these brown areas right here. All of these brown areas are high wind watches or wind advisories in effect for a large part of the central and western United States, where the wind is going to be a, a factor at times, getting very strong and gusty. So if you're going to travel anywhere in this part of the country over the next several days, you can encounter high winds, you can encounter some snow, you can encounter just a, a lot of different things as you go through. Now this is an animated graphic showing how the precipitation will fall between now and takes us all the way through Tuesday. So you can see the Pacific Northwest continues to take the brunt of it, but you can also see the precipitation spread east and then spread south over time as these Pacific waves come on through. So you can see that the high country will do well. Out on the plains, it'll be parts of Manitoba, parts of Saskatchewan, parts of Alberta here that are going to be looking at some pretty good snows, but also across parts of North Dakota, Eastern Montana, but also getting all the way down into the mountains of northern New Mexico with this pattern between now and early next week, avoiding the desert southwest. And you can see getting out onto the plains east of the Rockies, there won't be very much. And this is what the snowfall looks like if you were to put it all together. So some front range areas of Colorado, far southeastern Wyoming, the I-80 corridor, parts of Wyoming into Utah, the Wasatch Front. Then you can see why there's advisories. So the Interstate 80 corridor, while not getting hammered by big snow, all along the I-80 stretch is going to have off and on snow shower activity, wind, and some travel concerns 
late this week through the weekend and into Monday and Tuesday. I-70 into Colorado as well. Then the mountain passes of Montana, northern and western Wyoming are all going to be affected by this pattern. There are the wind gusts predicted between now through Sunday. So basically this is accumulation of wind gust potential between now and the end of the weekend. So from the Canadian Rockies all the way to near El Paso, along the divide and east of the divide, just very windy conditions, very windy conditions out onto the plains as well. Now, as we get further out into the forecast, this is by next Wednesday. We're going to have another low come in from the northwest, but get cut off. It gets cut off from the main jet stream. All of the modeling is suggesting that this is going to happen. The question is, where is this storm going to go after it gets cut off? It could meander down to here. It could get back up into the jet stream later, or this wave might not catch it, and it could sit around the southwest or southern areas of the United States for a few days. We're just going to have to see where it goes. But it is something that will impact the weather to some extent in the west by the middle to the end of next week. There's a lot going on in the northern hemisphere with that very cold air we showed you earlier in the week over Siberia and parts of eastern Europe. The jet stream winds in the northern hemisphere getting really strong, and there's just a lot going on, a lot of moving parts. So that's going to make the weather very variable here in the coming weeks. Have yourself a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.